hello all welcome back to my channel if you have not followed me on instagram you can follow me at rauchika designs to see what i create daily in today's video i will be teaching you how to create a mini hoop before we start if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and turn on the notification to begin i have sketched a design on a piece of cloth you can either follow the same design or sketch some other pattern that you like here i am using two colors it's a variation of purple for the flowers i begin by making small french knots i have used double strand anchor embroidery thread so here i am making tiny tiny french knots for the flowers if you don't know how to do a french knot all you have to do is bring the needle through a particular point wrap the thread around the needle and then insert it through the fabric this way you create small small knots on the cloth if you need a detailed video on how to make french knots kindly comment below and i shall make one i am now using the second color and filling up the gaps for the stem i am using stem stitch again if you don't know how to make a stem stitch let me know in the comments below and i shall make a tutorial video on french knots and stem stitch for the letters i am using the simple back stitch I'm adding a few colors to make it a bit colorful. I am first applying some plain water to make the cloth a bit moist and then I will be adding colors like pink, orange and white. I am giving a sort of a sunset effect here. For the colors I am using watercolor. I start by adding a very mild coat of pink. so the pink that i am applying is really diluted with water and then i add orange and then finally white and i blend all of them together as you can see in the video i am adding the second coat of pink i will do the same with orange as well it is to make it a bit brighter if you use a flat brush it will be easier for you to apply in the corners than a round brush After applying the second coat of pink and orange, I start applying white. I apply this around the flowers and stem. This is just to highlight them. After applying white, I just blend all the three colors together.
After completing the design, I am taking a small plastic lid and drawing a circle around the design. We will now cut the circular part. Let us now fix it to the hoop. I am going to align the design to the center of the hoop and then stitch around it. Once I complete stitching around the circle, I will tighten the thread and then stitch in a zigzag way so that the design does not move. Once we stitch and secure the design, we will now fix it to the mini hoop. And here we have created our own mini coat hoop. If this video was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.